So let's make this uh, cute necklace using the bubble effect. First thing you want to do is you want to get your um, UV resin tape. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to make sure I cut extra and I'll show you here in a minute why. I'm going to cut it, put it to the side, and then I am going to fold it over like so because I want a place I can put my finger when I want to hold it down. And so I'm going to put my bezel on and then I'm going to move my finger around the edge, all the way around my edge a couple times um, to make sure that it is stuck gr perfectly on the tape. And so I'm putting it on because the UV resin is liquid and it's going to want to go underneath your bezel. And so it, you need to make sure that it is securely on the tape. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to protect myself, right? If you haven't seen our video about the things you need to protect yourself for safety, um, go ahead and check that video out. This is chemicals and you need to make sure that you're doing it properly to protect your skin, protect your health, your lungs, all that stuff. So now I am going to take my resin and I am going to make a nice layer. I want a layer on it. I want to do a layer, not too high. Don't go too high. Um, and then I would normally try to get all the bubbles out, but I'm actually going to put bubbles in. <laughs> so there's no point putting bubbles out. You just need to have, make sure that the resin is all the way around it. That is on every edge. It's making a layer, all that. So I have here some water with some, um, just dish soap, just regular dish soap. And I put in a, a good squirt, a couple of squirts in here and I shook it up really well to make some really great bubbles. And then I am going to open it up and I am going to put lots of bubbles on. I'm going to make sure that the bubbles are on every surface. It can be um, really tall, like over the top, because when you put your UV light on it, it's just going to, um, the bubbles are going to be all gone. They're going to completely disappear, but you need to have a lot of bubbles on there and make sure all the surface area of the resin is covered in bubbles. I like to go over the top to make sure because I've had at times where I had places that didn't have the bubble imprint on it. And so I want to make sure that um, I am having all the bubbles on. And I think that's good. Now we're going to put our light on for a good 60 seconds, 60 to 90 seconds, put it on and the bubbles should disappear completely um, after those seconds. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Now you need to put the UV resin on the back, which is actually going to be your front. This is actually going to be your front, but you need to put it there because it'll be sticky. You don't want sticky at all. You want the resin to be completely dried. Um, if you're having a hard time, put it on the sun for like five minutes, but um, I'm doing the back side so it's not sticky for another 60 to 90 seconds. All right, so we've dried the back side as well. Oh my gosh, those bubbles are gorgeous. Now, um, there's a couple things you could do because you're gonna put another layer of resin, but first, um, you're gonna want to color the bubbles so that um, so that you can you can see the bubbles because if you just put the resin on, um, it's gonna hide all the bubbles, and so and then there'll be no point of you doing this technique. Um, you could uh, you could put makeup on it, you could put eyeshadow on it. I know that sounds funny, but you could do do eyeshadow. You could do mica powder, or the kit has um, the foil, and so I'm gonna take the foil. I'm gonna take the pieces and I'm just going to, and this isn't toxic anymore, I can use my finger. I'm just going to kind of um, squish the, the foil on so that you can see it on the other side. But I love this technique, those bubbles are gorgeous. You could even just leave it like this. I seriously, you could leave it like this and not put any more resin on it. But I want to um, kind of make this like silver effect. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And so I am going to be putting um, the foil on this piece and it's gorgeous. And so you're gonna wanna squish it down. You wanna squish it, get it all in the cracks, make sure it's getting in the cracks. And you're just gonna fill all the edges. Cause if you don't, when you put the last layer of resin on, you're go it's gonna like disappear. Like the bubbles are gonna disappear. And so 
Um, I really like it when I have mica powder and I can put mica powder on um, or I can put my eyeshadow on like a dark eyeshadow. Um, and so that's really pretty. And then you fill it, um, then you like put it in the cracks, you put the powder in the cracks, but this is great as well. And it's so much fun. Oh my goodness. This is so great. And so we just put it on, make sure you can see it. Let's look on the other side. Oh, that's so, <laughs> that is gorgeous. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I love doing resin. I love doing resin jewelry. It is like so much fun. And when you can be creative, it's just like, it's just kind of like um, such great, uh, kind of like a peaceful time for you just to kind of relax and let your, um, let your creativity flow. So I'm almost done, just trying to get every crack so we're good. It's gonna be so pretty. Just wanna get the crack. Okay, so again, this is not the front side. This is not the front side. This is gonna be your front side and it's looking so pretty. Oh, I see a little spot where I did not get. Okay, and now we're going to um, fill it. I'm gonna put my little um, gloves back on, my finger gloves. <laughs> gonna put my finger gloves back on and we are going to put, okay. And we are gonna put um, the resin on and do this last layer. Okay, so making sure it's it's full, like making sure you get um, in the middle. Usually wanna do the middle and on the sides, but I am going to, I filled it pretty full. And now I want to get in all the cracks. I want to make sure it's full enough. If not, you can always add more, but make sure it goes to all the sides. It's going to all the sides. I might add just a little bit more and that is okay. You don't want to overflow, but you want it to be full. It's a fine line, I can tell you that. Okay, and now we're gonna put this on for another 69 seconds. Okay, we are done. Oh my goodness, let's see the other side. <gasps> so we didn't get all the foil and we need to get all the foil, but it still looks so cute. I'm so excited. We're gonna pull this off. Look at that, it looks like the moon. It looks like the craters in the moon. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Now, if you have a little bit of tape, just kind of rub it off. If there gets a lot of tape, you can use like um, rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover, but isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. Oh, so now we wanna put it, look it, this comes with a kit. Isn't this amazing? It's already a necklace, already made for you, so simple. But we wanna put it on um, that, that necklace strand. And so you're gonna get your, um, jump ring and you're gonna put it on um, your pliers and then you're gonna put this through right here. We gotta get it through and we gotta get it on the strand like this and you can use your fingers to bring them together. And if your fingers aren't working, you can, there's plier, there's tweezers that came and you're just going to um, put my the tweezers right here I'm gonna pull my way and then these tweezers I'm gonna I'm gonna go the opposite of me so we're kind of trying to get the jump ring um, to come together okay and there you have this cute um, gorgeous moon necklace with a bubble effect